आधुनिक जुग में दिन कु दिन कमे लगी खबर कागज पाठकों संख्या यहस आधुनिक जुग में इलेक्ट्रोनिक्स जंत्र अत्याधुनिक व्यवहार फल समाज में खबर प्रसारण बढ़वे लगी मात्र अधिकांश समय लोके मिथ्या खबर को अधिक प्रसारित करूज्र अर्थ एवं यार सठिक व्यवहार को प्राधान्य देवार आवश्यकता रही आज संवाद भवन ने यह प्रसंग को नहीं एक आलोचना बैठक आयोजन कर बैठक में मुख्य अतिथि भाव इंटरन्यासनाल आडभटाइजिंग एजेन्सीर प्रेसीडेट सुंदर स्वामी रमेश नारायण एवं मातृभूमि खबर कागज मुख्य बी श्रेयस कुमार को सह संवाद ग्रुप रो मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर मोनिका नायर संवाद रो बार्ता महाप्रबंधक अरविंद दास प्रमुख जोगदे संपर्क में आलोचना कर दैनिक जीवन में खबर मूल्यबद्धकता को नहीं अग्रसर होगा दिगरे आलोचना होता यहसह आगामी दिन में पत्रिकार आवश्यकता थी नहीं उपस्थित अतिथि मैंने मत रखि there's no need to really you know go out and engage with the consumers they are already embracing it with open arms the real issue is now how do we increase uh newspaper reading as well you know at the same time so as i always say newspaper reading is still seeing or the the printed word is still seen as the most i think you know a uh, uh, credible item the digital is now losing its uh, sheen on account of the fact that you have so much fake news there you know so many things you know going on there that you can't really be 100% sure about things so i think that is one point that will have to be emphasized over and over again that you know print is the most uh, credible form if you see a thing there in print odds on it is the truth so if you want the truth you have to read the newspaper and that is the thing that will have to be emphasized number 2 is i think newspapers ought to actually you know get into the entire education sector a little more aggressively uh you, i was in uh, mumbai and i always say that there is no harm in like you know borrowing an uh, a a very good idea you know you know borrow with like a pride i say always so uh, you know for example a survey on schools okay conducted by a newspaper will have that huge credibility that a newspaper on its own you know carries with it now apart from all that you are entering then each aspect of every school so you have a survey of schools of their activities and have an award for the best school in sports for the best school in say like in you know, a digital or the best school in computer learning and you know so on and so forth the idea really is that you will then be entering into the heart of the education system and if you are there access to the kids then is all, see any kid might not read his uh you know his morning or her morning newspaper but school books they read no hopefully so here once you are a part of the school administration once you are a part of the school system you will be seen also in that way and even then teachers will start aggressively encouraging kids to read newspapers a thing which they never have done and they don't do even now uh, they might read it 
I have never seen a, a school teacher, you know, telling a kid, have you read the newspaper today? And that is where we ought to aim for. See, there are enough, you know, marketing studies that show that the main influencer in the life of a young student is actually the teacher. If you say, but, uh, you know, how do you know this is true? Teacher ne bola. And it is the truth. So, we have to ensure or encourage teachers to actually motivate school kids to read these newspapers. And the way to do it is the one I said, you know, one of the ways, I mean, you know, survey and award, get into the entire education system in a very, you know, positive way. And your results of your, of your, you know, survey will obviously also reinforce the fact that it's an honest thing because it is done by a newspaper. It's not done by any other in a private organization who you can, you know, rig it or you can pay more and you can have your name up there and all. No, this is done by a, a well-known uh, newspaper. All persons today are living in an ecosystem where digital is embedded. You can't say that I am a journalist for print medium and therefore I am not going to be journalist for digital medium. So it's all one integrated mass. Okay, so what do you write? You write for digital medium and for print medium. Sometimes actually the digital medium gives you the ability to write a longer passage where there is no restricted number of words. Print has some limited space that they can print. So as a matter of fact, a journalist would look upon digital as a godsend opportunity for them to actually do an elaborate story of the subjects that they take up.